Okay. Last time we had collected everything we can reasonably be expected to collect uh, at this stage of development. So, now we're actually going to progress the story and engage in some delicious overblown internet controversy. Won't that be fun? Alright, Laura. Shall we give it a go then? Let's Shall we do give this, it a go? Whenever you're ready. I like this. Yeah, I got it, guys. I got it. Thank you, Jack. Yeah. I think you're on the gate. Given the age of the symbols, it could be the Sun Queen. Himiko, are you sure you're not channeling Sam, Dr. Whitman? Well, there's no doubt. Himiko had power. Political so power. Shamanistic. Elemental. A woman wields that much power, and sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. <laughs> we shouldn't discount anything, even what may seem to us irrational. We still have much to learn about the world. <sighs> you sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Not if we don't live to tell it. Thought you had to be skeptical to be an archaeologist. You're making a lot of assumptions and suppositions here, Doctor. There must be so much history. Oh my god. You okay there, buddy? Jesus. Doing a little impromptu ballet recital for me. Anyway, this can't possibly end poorly. Incredible. Oh, it is Himiko. Based on what? Look, the bowl, the candles. Why is she still being worshipped? This island, it must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Lara. <gasps> the Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. But this is real, Atlantis. Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. <laughs> Another reference to the original mind. game, I might point out. Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, probably by them. Be back. They can't be trusted. You still have a gun. I don't want any trouble. No. Oh, we'll fuck come. you. But I insist Stupid. that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. No! I'm handling this! No! no! Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Please! Surprise butt set. Just just go along with them, Laura. <laughs> Do, do whatever they say. Dining a pistolet. Iti. Osha. Kind of wish I could speak Russian. Who are you people? What do you with us? Laura! If they give you any trouble, kill them. Don't hurt them, please. Silence, girl. Act idiot. Хорошенькая, да? Напоминаешь мою сестру. Don't you fucking move. Oh yeah, I'll Kill get right on that. Douchebag. What a dick. Oh, fuck this. Yeah, I'm on it. Time for some Metal Gear Cry. <laughs> Fuck you. This is actually a really good segment. I like that she's completely defenseless and has to rely on the spell. With her hands tied behind her back like this. And the my favorite part about this segment is it's a four stealth segment, yeah, but it's short. So it doesn't get on your nerves. Unless you're really bad at life in general. Which a lot of people are, but hey. I'm not. I'm pretty good. All right. Look at her hair. Look at her ponytail. Wait. <laughs> it's always really hard to make hair not retarded in games. I think that's pretty funny. What do you see? Uh, okay. Are you ready for some juicy internet controversy in five? Here it comes. Here's the moment that lit the internet ablaze. No one escapes. Out. 
Вылезай! Но трать моего времени! Она тоже была порадочной. Lara's first kill, she would then go on to murder hundreds of people in China. Well, I'm referencing the old games. Anyway, let's focus on this game, and remember that that scene was part of a trailer for this game shown off that caused a lot of controversy. Really stupid controversy, because of course, uh, you know, woman in a video game... There was kind of a little bit of a sexual overtone to that whole affair. It was dumb. You know what, I'm not even going to acknowledge it. It happened, I think that scene worked incredibly well as a good little traumatic, oh, well, now she's a killer kind of thing. But we're not done quite yet. When you're pushed against the wall, the only thing you can do is push back. She doesn't have exactly a- oh shit. The fucking place is on fire. Okay. So yeah, she doesn't exactly have a lot of time to just sit down and go like, oh fuck, I'm killing people now. They're trying to kill her. She's got to get out of here. Shit's bad, yo. Real kill. Wow. Love those. I love any kind of kill in a game where you can pretend they were alive before they splat against the ground. So well, real kills are great like that. But yeah, there is a l there was some complaining from people about this game where like, oh, she made a big deal about killing that first guy because yeah, first person you've ever killed in your life, and it was kind of a traumatic so event in general. And now she's just killing people, and it's no big deal. But it's like, dude, find out soon. She's not really giving herself time to think about it and question it like she did with that first guy. She's got to get through this. They're evil. The place is on fire for fuck's sake. Plus, you know, from a game design sense, when you give a gun to a player, they kind of want to use it, you know? Sometimes you just have to bow to the medium. Come on, what do you think's gonna happen if we throw one of those new ones in the Oh, shit. 
shit. Yeah, he's alive. Like, I don't know, this game was one of the games that came out in 2013 that people kinda criticized for being too violent. Like, there was some fad in 2013 where people were like, oh, this game was violent, therefore it's violence is in and of itself inherently a thing to be criticized. Bioshock Infinite got that a lot, too. Hold on, let's kill this guy in an extremely brutal way. I will give you that. Strangling him to death. What's going on down there? Everything okay? Nope. <laughs> awesome. Lada, are you there? Yes. I can see smoke coming from the old ruins. Are you okay? Oh god, Roth, I'm in trouble. That killing no, people. Shit. What? Who? Men. I don't know why. I had to kill some of them. I had no choice. Aww. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. I love that You've line. got to warn the others, Roth. Don't worry about them right now. You just do whatever it takes to get to me, Lana. I'll try. I like that line. It reminds me of Metal Gear Solid. Solid Snake. Unfortunately, killing is just one of those things that gets easier than what we do with. Something like that. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, someone did this art. Oh, I'm gonna do some minor scavenger hunting while I talk. <laughs> yeah, a little kind of clashing against the tone of the st what's currently happening, but might as well. Uh, someone wrote this article uh, about Bioshock Infinite responding to like the criticisms of the violence in it. Oh God. And it was like, you know, it's a fucking action shooter video game. You know, those just are violent by nature. It's like, and if you can't get on board with that, you know, what, what can I say? It's like how some people can't get into musicals. Because no one just bursts into song. And if you can't, like, let that go, fine. But that's not a problem with musicals. And I really like that. I really like that comparison because I really like musicals. And you know, that's like the fact that people sing in musicals is not something you should have to defend. It's just a part of the genre of storytelling. And with video games like this, it's the same way. If you don't like it, fine, but that's not a problem with the game. Days have passed since the plane crash. For a second time, we attempted to escape by boat with disastrous results. I knew it would happen, just like the first time. The calm sea turned hostile with no explanation. The moment we made for open water, the winds picked up, followed by an impossible wave. Like a child's toy, our lifeboat was smashed violently into the rocky shore. Now, two more lie dead, and another is wounded beyond help. The others are starting to panic, and they're looking to me for a plan. I do have one, but it doesn't include them. They are weak and stupid, a liability in this place. I suggested they make another attempt to leave, but I won't join them. To do so would be suicide. This is clear to me now. Wow, this guy sounds like an asshole. You know, I'm all for individualism, but that actually kind of strikes me as one of the reasons collectivism is kind of bad. Sacrificing people for no reason? You know, when... Hey, anyone that's alive can be useful. You know, why you gotta sacrifice bitches? The thing about nightmares is sooner or later you wake up. But there's no waking up from this place. Which means I'm really here. I'm really doing these things. Really killing people. No, don't think about it, Lara. Not now. It won't help. 
I don't know what's happened to the rest of the crew. I hope they're okay. They have to be. They have to be. I don't know what the hell is going on here. All that matters is that Rod finds a way to get us home. So yeah, like I said, we're collecting a whole bunch of everyone else's journals, so Laura wants in on that shit. And something I like is her character evolution in this game. As you can see, she's starting out as very much, uh, you know, sheltered, helpless victim, really. She, she does start out this game as a victim. But, similar to how we saw how like Matthias in that journal grew to become a cold dickhead no, who was willing to sacrifice people for his own himself. selfish gain, Lara becomes, Why? well, the woman the she becomes. The we'll know more by tonight. And unfortunately for these guys, they're just another stepping stone on my way to video game glory! <laughs> I didn't think I'd get them both like that. Man, I'm good at headshots. Fuck you. Man, four guys, four headshots. That was pretty cool. If I do say so myself. Okay, there's still some collecting we can do around here. I know it is kind of like, I will grant you that it is a little ridiculous after a certain point. We haven't gotten there yet, but already you can kind of be like, wow, she's killing kind of a lot of people. But just you wait, it gets even worse later on. But that's something about this game that I like too, actually. Because like, another, I guess, pseudo complaint you can have about this game is it's kind of an Uncharted ripoff, which... I could grant that. I don't- I'm not a fan of the Uncharted games myself. But I think this game makes that formula work in a way that the, the actual Uncharted games just don't work for me. Mainly because Nathan Drake's an asshole. I hate the main character of the Uncharted games. He's a crazy person. And, like, he just kills, like, hundreds upon hundreds of people for really selfish reasons, like, basically because, eh, I don't even, just like, he, he's, he's kind of Indiana Jonesy, you know, but at the same time, he doesn't even have the whole it belongs in the museum excuse, he's just finding shit for sh treasures for shits and giggles. And he murders a whole bunch of people, and we're still supposed to be like, yeah, he's a cool dude, like, he's a Joss Whedon character. This game also has Lara kill a whole bunch of people, but it doesn't brush it off. It acknowledges that, hey, she's killed kind of a lot of people! Maybe that's fucked her up in the head a little bit. As it would. But then, I don't want to spoil too much. We're still very early on in the game, after all. I just like talking about how much I love this fucking game, because I really do. I think it's really good. And we're stealth killing dudes. Choke them to death with our fucking bows and arrows. Yeah, this isn't the original Tomb Raider. I'm not gonna fall to my death in this. Where are you guys spawning from? Ah! Oh, that guy ate it. Don't fucking get your bag. Pick him out. Uh oh. Ah, oh, shit. Fire's catching up to us. Oh, fuck the lot of you. You can have it. Whee! the land. Cool chicks don't look at explosions. Another journal.
When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades, I knew I could never refuse him. Yep, I was right. Charles Manson. <laughs> Kinda culty, I'm just saying. Okay, there's a few more things to collect in this area. I know it's kind of weird. It's kind of video gamey to just be like, Oh, I gotta collect things after everything that's been happening. But fuck you, I've played this game four times. I know where everything is. I can't help it. <laughs> And I don't know if you noticed, based on the way I've been playing Deus Ex, but this is kind of how I play every video game. Like a crazy person. A silk fan. Could have been used by a villager or a noble, maybe. I play them like a psychotic, obsessive, compulsive, hack rat, cle kleptomaniac, collection person. Like, games like this, scavenger hunt games like this, or Psychonauts, for example, just drive me insane. Because I'm like, gotta find all the things! What's cool about this game is, uh, it's kind of a Metroid-style game. You know, in that way where you collect things and then go back through areas you've already been to access areas you couldn't before and collect more things you couldn't get to. Collecting things. It's a gun by used by samurai to relay orders to their soldiers in battle. Pretty solid. Must be made of stained cypress. I use those in Shogun 2 Total War. There's one more little nugget in this area, I think. Ooh, that's a pretty good jump. That was not. <laughs> Got him. Okay, uh, yep, Mountain Temple, 100%. The way this uh, game is broken up into little hub areas is also extremely useful. When it comes to, like, getting the collection shit down, anyway. And it's also very natural. Like, this is actually a game you can collect all of the things 100% before finishing the main story. Which sometimes is a real problem with these kind of games. Even Arkham City fell prey to that. It was literally impossible to get 100% completion on all the side quests before finishing the main story. I can do this. Everyone needs a mantra. Shit! Lara repeats that a, a lot. She said that at the beginning, kind of like an encouraging, like, a way to encourage herself to be like, come on, you can do this. But now she's saying this, like, kind of self-assured, more believing in herself, like, I can do this. It's like a motivator. Instead of like a, like a, I'm going to die, please, come on. It's like a statement, you know? Oh, shit. Should be crazy. Crazy. Nice, I guess. Rob, I'm coming. Reminds 
you of anyone? Thank God you're alive! Oh. Oh, God's got nothing to do with it. It's good to see you two go. Sorry, they did a real number on your leg. Oh, no, it looks worse than it is. Have you heard from any of the others? Nothing. Wait, what are you doing? The wolves took my food pack. The transmitter from the lifeboat's in it. If we don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. But you need you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. We're also in the pack. You have morphine exactly. in your pack of medicine? Come Come on. That's some heavy duty shit, dude. I mean, I get painkillers, but morphine's pretty serious. No, 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 oh, no. Shit, he's going to shop. no. Oh, don't do this to me, you northern bastard. That's another thing I like. Laura's English. They they really make a point of that in this okay. game. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is just kind of uncommon, you know? It's kind of like how in Assassin's Creed 4, you play as a Welsh dude. Like, name one other video game protagonist who is a Welsh. That's just kind of unique and cool. Thank not God to distract from the drama going on here. That's a pretty good shot. Look at that fucking wolf just yucking it up like an asshole. Okay, so... Yeah, he looks... He looks fine to leave him alone. I'm sure I'm sure he won't die. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. In fact, he looks so fine, I'm gonna run around and do some collection... Oh, shit. Before I go uh, get that medical pack from the wolves. For example, lighting this statue on fire. Yeah. This is the most pressing issue we should deal with at the moment. What the fuck are these chickens doing here? Chickens! This is a little bit of a tutorial area to get you used to the quote-unquote parkour system of the game. Like, there's a lot of useless stuff that you can just kind of dick around on to learn, like, okay, when I do this, she does that. Interesting. Also collectible. Whee! There's also a lot of white rope, which I... I teased earlier about how, like, white things are the game's way of telling you to do shit with this. And that's true, but like I said... Really, you can just, like, eyeball it. You can just go, oh, these ruins. They seem to be from this era of Japanese mythology, uh, history. I can just, you know, kind of wing it like that. This must have belonged to a U.S. Marine. Oh, wow. Were they on the island in force, or just an advance party? Well, we do know that Japanese soldiers were here during World War II. Kind of interesting that the Marines were here as well. Do these marks represent friends lost, or enemies killed? Either way, he needed a drink. So do we. We've got our own little tally of both so far. Poor Lara. Like, take away the fact that this is Lara Croft, video game icon, badass lady character, 
and just like pretend you're going into this with like fresh eyes, never having heard of Lara Croft before in your life. This is kind of fucked up. It's this kind of like just innocent, sheltered young girl who's getting thrown into this shit and is having to do some terrible things already just to have survived. And is getting the shit beat out of her. I mean, there's two bloody patches on her body right now as we speak, for crying out loud. It's just kind of disturbing. And another thing I like about this game is it doesn't phrase frame it as a positive development. Like, so many people who review this game kind of go like, yeah, she's turning into a badass, and that's cool. And this game's kind of going like, no, it's not. It's kind of really fucked up in a lot of ways. Look at how fucked up it is. And we're going to see a little bit more of how fucked up it is next time.